if it were not for the title the artist gave his work, I would think he was simply continuing the tradition of Tres Marias interacting with each other in an idyllic fashion that makes you want to be the fourth Maria. But this is not a romanticized celebration of Pinoy culture. It's more of a satire, actually. Look at the title Ruben Perdiguera gave his work, Tres Marites. For the uninitiated, I was told that Marites refers to a chismosa. It's the abbreviated form of Mare Anulates. Very clever of whoever coined it. I feel sorry for every Marites in the world, though. Set in a paradisiac surrounding and garbed in the most wonderful of Filipino attire, our dress Marites unfortunately chose to be nearsighted, engaging in the national pastime of gossiping. Not only that, they are sneering at someone hidden from our view and they are enjoying it. They are not afraid to let the person know that they are talking about him or her. Although I have a suspicion it's a she. Perhaps they have been proven right. The Toonga and Chi sneeze and they are relishing the superior feeling it's giving them by rolling and straining their necks. The Bible says that we are to be busy so we can avoid gossiping. But there is no letting up with our dress marites. They have a bilao full of fish to sell, which should keep them busy. But no, they know their priorities to cheese me. They are so into giving the object of their scorn the look that they don't realize they are losing their grip on their paninda. The fish is about to slip, making them useless. And together with it, the income they could earn for that day slips away too. I don't know if Perdiguera is making fun of every Marites out there in a good humoredly fashion or it's his scathing commentary, but what he achieves in this painting, intentionally or not, is perhaps a cautionary tale of wrong priorities without being preachy. And that is the genius of Perdiguera. He paints a mirror image of ourselves, making us go ooh and ah over the beautiful colors and patterns without realizing he is imbibing in us a message. Subtlety in art is essential. Art is essential. <laughs>